Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. We are going to see a video of a person that says she's bleaching her long hair. I hope she's not destroying her beautiful long hair. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, the lighting might be a little weird because we are in my bathroom today. Um, you also probably noticed my hair. So today, I'm gonna be bleaching my hair for the first time in a long time and I'm very scared. It's been bleached and colored before. You see different colors on the length. I see like a faded red or pink. It's really, really, really long hair. So if you have such a long hair and you want to keep it, maybe staying with one color or maybe don't touch it at all. I'm, I'm talking against my profession. I know that. If you want to have healthy hair, don't mess up with your hair. Stay with the same color or don't color at all. But I get it. If you're young, you want something new. Michaela's, long time. <laughs> Michaela's going to the gym. I told her to just peace out because I'm probably going to freak out. Um, my hair is long. It looks crusty right now, but I'll put like a picture in of like what my hair looks like when it's cute. I'm going to bleach it and hopefully dye it a fun color. I have no idea what color I'm going to do yet, but we're going to see. So I'm just taking you along with me on this journey. Let's go. Hopefully this works. Yeah, this video is not sponsored. I just like picked stuff up at uh, Sally's Beauty. So I have 30 developer. Brad Mondo said he recommended 30 for everybody. So I got that and just some powder bleach. So right now my main concern is that I have a ton of hair. Like I separated it into fourths, fourths, quadrants. I separated it into quadrants and I still like this is one fourth of my hair and like that is so much hair so i'm worried because bleach acts really fast that it's gonna be like uneven and patchy and i don't know i'm panicking but it's not just dividing in four sections it's a good start if it's divided in four sections then you have to take separate sections small sections between these sections so every big section has to be divided in smaller sections that's the main basic of coloring, coloring, bleaching, cutting, everything. A good tip is you have to remember if you color the top of the section and you flip the section over to color the other side, if the color or the bleach is coming through the section, it's a good section. If you flip it and you don't see any color or bleach, your section is too thick. So I may end up just doing these back two pieces and then washing it out and then doing these. But like, I tried coming up with a game plan, but I have no game plan. So you guys may be experiencing the demise of my hair as we speak. It's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Start at the back, finish the back, wash it off and then do the front because it's very long hair. You, it will take a lot of time. And if you start at the back, and you color all the way to the front, it will be like, if you work fast, really fast, it will be like 30 minutes. But sometimes, if you do it by yourself, it will be like one hour or maybe longer. So, the first section is processing already one hour. So, this will be lighter, wider, and maybe more damaged. Let's start. I'm going to close my bathroom door and lock my cat out because... He likes to be all in my business and I don't want him like touching the bleach and stuff. I already have this bleach all over my hands. Ooh, also I didn't get gloves and I know that like that's bad and I really should wear gloves. But I have really small hands and the gloves when I've tried using them in the past just like get in the way. And I am more concerned about effing up my hair than ruining my hands. Which like, I don't know. I don't know. If it starts burning really bad, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if this looks right. It looks really watery. Be careful bleaching on your scalp. It's on your scalp, but it's also on your skin. You have gloves in different sizes. And she closed the door. That's a big mistake. You have to ventilate the room because there's in many bleaches a lot of ammonia. And it's really bad for your, for your lungs. So, ooh, that's burning the eyes already. This is really chunky looking right now. 
Did I get the right thing? I'm just so cheap. I really should have just gone to the salon. I don't know how I'm supposed to mix this. Like, if I'm supposed to, like, whisk it, like I'm making, like, like I'm baking. Or what? All I know is my eyes are burning and I haven't even put any of this in my head yet. And I'm going to need a lot more than this. Okay, another scoop of the bleach. Lovely. And then a little more developer. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. She says it's too watery. It's not a cream. She bought the clear oxidation and not the cream oxidation. I prefer always the cream. She has the wrong one. It will drip off so quickly. I really don't think mentally stable people do this. I'm Look, it's go. like water. Okay, a little more developer. Now that my stuff is mixed, I'm about to start applying it. Um, I know that you want to do your roots last because um, those lighten like really fast. Um, but the bottom part of my hair has already been bleached before. So I feel like I want to start with like this mid-length part of my hair. Um, I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh, these are techniques just for professionals. No way you can do that by yourself. Do the roots very last, very last. Even after rinsing it off, separate the roots if you're happy with the length. But if the tips are already white, you have to leave them also alone and just do the mist shaft. But at such a long hair, that is so difficult to do. I'm just, I'm gonna try to work as fast as I can but also do as little of sections as I can so it's not patchy. I don't know. The fumes in this bathroom are so bad. I feel like I'm gonna pass out already. Okay, here we go. Still looks kind of chunky going on, which is like concerning. I don't know, but I don't have time to talk now. I just gotta do this shit. Okay. The consistency is weird. It's like chunky. Oh, something doesn't feel right. Look, you see no color, no bleach on her hair. We always say saturation, but it's very difficult to have a big saturation with a clear. But I don't think I've ever like actually bleached my hair before, so I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Ooh, it does burn my hands already. I really should have got gloves. I feel like there could be a better way to do this. It doesn't feel so awkward. I think I really might just like glob it out with my hands. Oh. I'm doing it. Can I get like chemical burns? Like horrible chemical burns? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can have chemical burns on your neck, on your skin, on your hands, on your scalp. Oh, it burns my eyes. Okay, I know this is not enough bleach and I should be like really getting it in there. Trying to avoid the tips of my hair. I just dropped some on my foot. Okay. Whew. The fumes in here, man, are nasty. Open the uh, door. But I do want to keep my door closed because I know my cat would come in here and would like step in the bleach or something, which I definitely do not want. So we'll keep the door closed. But my eyes are burning. My throat's kind of burning. You can pass out. You can. You can. This is so bad. That can't be good. Okay. Again, I'm leaving my roots untouched um, and the very ends of my hairs because those are already really light because they've been bleached before. Um, so in theory, if all of this works out, I'm looking to do like some really cool pastel colors. Oh girl, you still believe it works out good. I admire your positivity. I can't breathe. I should have told Michaela to stay here. She's at the gym right now. So it looks like my hair's turning green. Maybe I should have just splurged a little bit and paid to go to the salon. I don't know. <coughs> okay, this is going to be patchy as F, I think. Oh, this... This video really gives me anxiety. I'm really worried about her lungs. She's inhaling all this toxic fumes. 
I hope everything is okay. I know I'm not supposed to brush through it. That was also an instruction, but I don't know what to do. So I did get like a toner and stuff, um, which I don't know if I got the right one, but I'm hoping I don't have to tone it. I'm gonna have to tone it. My hair is gonna be orange and yellow and shit. But I would love to just be able to like dye my hair really purple tonight or something. I don't know. Oh, my neck is burning. Hair's touching my neck, it's burning. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this side of my hair is already so much lighter. I don't know if you can see it. We have like really bad lighting in our bathroom. Try not to breathe so much. Maybe put a towel around your neck. Protect your skin. This is really delicate skin. <sighs> oh, my throat burns. Whew. Can you get like high off of this stuff? Cause I feel funny. Like I gotta open this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Ooh, I'm starting to get itchy. Give me a second, guys. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, everybody, that is having long hair and thinking about bleaching their hair at home should watch this video this will end very bad she can pass out of the fumes she's playing with her life here you have to apply it in a good ventilated room there are some really bad toxic fumes in that room really toxic i'm not a professional if you can't tell try to run some bleach on don't laugh at me. <laughs> I am getting a little rash on my arms where the bleach was. So in like a couple minutes, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the ends of my hair. And then like my root area. There's like a ponytail that I could tie this up with. Can you imagine if you went to the salon and they did like this to you? Like they're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Do I have a ponytail? <laughs> oh look, good. Sheesh. Okay, I still got bleach all over me. There's bleach everywhere all over this bathroom. Ooh, I can't breathe, okay. I was, okay. Whew. Okay, so a little panic moment. I'm gonna show you my neck. Something's happening. <gasps> oh my God. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there are like some bad shits going on in my neck. I need to, oh. yeah, I'll be back. Oh my gosh. Go to the ER, you have an allergic reaction. Rinse it out, straight away to the ER. This is dangerous. Okay, I had to call Michaela home because I almost died. Um, Her neck I'm is melting off. I'm still having a really bad reaction. Um, you need to rinse, like, no. But my throat was like, I couldn't breathe. I can't breathe in here. So, okay, I'm gonna need your help. I need you to rinse this half of my hair off and not this half. Can you do that? Can you do that? What? Rinse this half of my hair off and not this half yet? Come on! All out. Yeah, we are gonna have to like rush you to the ER if it doesn't slow down with the. Okay, hey guys, little update. I am icing my neck with peas. I'm starting to feel better now, um, but I decided to stop dyeing my hair, which, oh boy, I'm not ready to like check out what my head looks like because I know it's gonna be really bad. I only even have bleach on like the back half of my hair i don't know what we're gonna do stop bleaching you're just asking yourself what am i going to do stop bleaching go to a doctor test yourself don't color your hair i know it's bad that half of your head is bleached i would i don't know what i'm gonna do but shout out to michaela for <laughs> Not having a full panic attack because she does not handle stuff like that good. Oh, well, I was always thinking it's a prank. <laughs>
we have an issue. So obviously I had a really bad reaction, so I'm scared to do the rest of my hair. So like from the front, it doesn't look like I bleached my hair or anything, right? Are you ready for the worst thing in the whole wide world? Okay. Oh. What the fuck? What? Not the cat. What the cat? No, he's not, he's laying down. Oh. That hurt really. It was me. We're going on a trip to Vegas for my birthday in like a couple of days. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna like cry tonight. <gasps> Leave your hair alone. See professional. They can do without touching your skin or your scalp. They can do a natural color and stop touching your hair stop touching your scalp before you know if it's an allergic reaction or it was the bleach that touched your skin you have to know it can be very dangerous if you are bleaching your hair by a cream based oxidation and do it in a well ventilated room please 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 don't let me see that kind of video again. Sometimes I have a lot of fun watching these things, but this, I did not have any fun. I nearly had a heart attack. Please say that you learned a lesson by watching this video because this is the point of my channel to give tips and make you learn about coloring, but this was an important lesson. This was a very important lesson. Press one of these videos to see more hair fails and more hair tips. Please, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on TikTok. Don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell. You can give me also a big thumb if you liked this video. All I'm going to say today is... Ciao, kus.